I think people sometimes will say, oh, well, she's Ari Vist. She's brand new to the Internet. She, But no, in fact, you've been on the Internet longer than I have. You started in the mid-'80s on an ARPANET called uh, EVE. I mean, It that, was the late-'70s, actually, yeah. So um, it's not like you're some Johnny-come-lately. You've been involved with technology from the very earliest days. Yeah, I, I do see myself, um, you know, in good ways and bad as a digital native. So, um, and, you know, and I'm 46. I'm a little old to be a digital native, but... Um, well, not if you start um, in the 70s. At eight years so old, a millennial, that's... A millennial recently called me a mother of the internet, where I was like, wait a second here. Are you that's sure that's what she was way. thinking? <laughs> yeah, exactly. But... Um, in any case, I was nine nine years old. Um, my the colonial town where I grew up in Hanover, New Hampshire, had Dartmouth College in it. Dartmouth got a new president. The president John Kameny had written the language basic. I think he had no idea what he was doing in our ski town with its like back to the land stuff, like snowshoeing to work, and he just wanted to be back at Princeton, probably working for Einstein as he had, and having access to all these computers. Anyway, to remedy that. He had a giant mainframe, those like rhinoceros computers that snort and stampede and have to be kept behind bulletproof glass. He had one of those installed right on this colonial campus. In exchange, as I understand it, for the real estate, he agreed to teach the local school children basic. Oh, wow. With the. Um, Wait a minute. John Kemeny taught you basic? That's right. <gasps> Learning it from Kemeny. I mean, by the way. This, you are the only person in the world impressed by this, and thank you for being impressed by it. I'm, I'm blown I mean, away. I tried that out as an opening line on people, and they just are like, yeah, who cares? Um, but anyway, John Kameny himself, one of the co-authors of two co-authors Kameny of and Basic, Kurtz, yeah, yeah. Gave, exactly. Gave a, um, gave a lecture in an auditorium. He drew, first time I saw a crossed zero, zero with a little <gasps> line through it. Um, he wrote, get, did a quick, simple program for us. Wow. We wrote it. We saw it come out on, you know, paper with little frills or whatever the things on the side, dot matrix. And um, I was hooked. You know, four of the other kids, all boys, were hooked. The rest of people filed out, scratching their heads. And uh, I wanted as soon as possible to get over that mainframe and figure out, you know, where in the universe all this potential was. I wanted to locate it. And then later, when I persuaded my parents that if they ever cared about me working for NASA, <laughs> highest ambition of mankind, of course, and mm -hmm. 10 years after the moon landing, mm -hmm. they needed to get me a Zenith Z19 <gasps> dumb terminal yes, so I could did. dial in to that mainframe, and they did. We aren't talking a Commodore PET. <laughs> We're talking a terminal okay. so you could timeshare with the Dartmouth mainframe. That's exactly right. That's wow. exactly right. And they did. And uh, uh, Yes. So I turned 10, 11, 12 on that, on, on the computer, as we called it. And, um, and I just did not want to get off that thing. So I used, um, our one telephone line, um, yeah. let's say 603-555-5555, cause it's still my parents' line, crash that thing into that, <laughs> into the modem. You knew that Currency. gesture. You knew what I was doing there. <laughs> yes, exactly. And the way you fit it in was so satisfying, wasn't it? Suction cups. It's like getting it's like in a kayak. Rubber. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Rubbery. Yep. And then I heard, you know, you'd hear the. the <laughs> yes. Oh, you do well with the second dro well, drop. Well, I, tone. you know, I do. My my impression is actually of a '56 K modem because I had the bang bang. So uh, it's really not of that era. You're doing a 300 baud modem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What are but you, I Joy Bubble? <laughs> what are you, like a phone freak over there? Let's do some free long distance calls while you're at it, Mr. Tone. I can, do, I can whistle 2600 uh, hertz.